hello and thank you for tuning in to the circle of love with shakisha etnis as you can see i have on my shirt ladies i hope you all support me in this and get you a circle of love t-shirt but okay i have a message that i would like to share with you guys have you ever had a conversation with somebody and they said something and you felt some kind of way about it and you knew that they meant what they said in a derogatory way maybe being sarcastic but you question yourself you like what is it me and am i am i just receiving it that way let me give you an example okay so a young lady and i basically are coming together to fulfill an assignment and my responsibilities it was asked for me to complete them by monday all right and i was you know i with me going to work on monday i had so much to do the weekend before that monday i'm working on someone else's project and that was prior to me saying you know what i'm saying that i would do this with this particular person you gotta excuse me but um long story short that was the the time frame she put on me you know what i'm saying and i thought i could fulfill it but i couldn't so when i saw her on yesterday i told her i said i will have my part of it completed friday well the words that came out of her mouth was if if you didn't want to do it or if you don't want to do it all you have to do is say you don't want to do it and the way they said it was you know if you if you don't want to do it sweetie all you have to do is say you don't want to do it and i'm looking like really like really like as grown as i am you actually feel that i would have to tell you i mean that i'm scared to tell you that i don't want to do it so i immediately when i went when i was leaving I got in my car and I called a woman that I feel is a very fair woman, you know, and I told her the situation and she said, mm, yeah, I could kind of, I could kind of feel what you're saying, but I don't want you to act right now because I know that you're in an emotional place and I would rather you just give it a couple of days and then if you feel like you don't want to do it, then do that. And I said, okay, that's fair. Well, before I went to sleep last night, I prayed and I said, Lord God, I said, I give you, I said, you fight my battles. I'm not going to fight, fight my battles anymore. I need you to fight my battles. And with that being said, 645 this morning, my phone rung. And when I answered it, guess what? It was the lady on the phone and she said, I owe you an apology. And I said, no, it's okay. And she said, no, it's not okay. And I said, you know what? You're right. It's not okay. Because to be honest with you, I took very much. Um, I was very offended. I was very offended by what you said to me. I said, but I want you to know that I accept your apology and we can move forward. I do accept your apology because she called her son. And her son said what you said was wrong. And I think that you you owe her an apology. Now, she didn't know that I picked up on what I felt. But I knew what I felt. And my whole point of making this video is, it's times that you question yourself. You begin to, mm, you begin to question yourself and you try to give others the benefit of the doubt and saying, well, maybe it's me. No, it's not them. Maybe it's me. No, she didn't mean it. No, she meant it the way she said it. Yes, she did. And half the time, I continue to give people the benefit of the doubt. But I, I know I, I know my feelings be on point. And God confirmed that, baby, you're not slow. You're not... You you was on point. I sh I said, God, I thank you for my spirit of discernment. Because when I tell you, you know when people people are not talking to you, you know, um, in a in a in a in a nice manner. You know when they're being sarcastic. You know when they're being rude. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, really? And and because I'm trying not to go there. I said, you know what? I'm going to act like I didn't hear that. But reality check is, I, that spirit, I'm always confronted with it. And I made up my mind. I said, God, you know what? I'm tired of dealing with that. I need you to fight the battle. 
and he did. So she called and said she apologized and admitted, admitted to what she did. And, and, and she knew that it was wrong. So I come by to tell you, when your spirit tell you something, trust it. You don't have to act upon it because I didn't act upon it. But trust it. Trust it. Trust it. Yes, our feelings are fickle. But when you know that someone is saying something to, to, to you know, be smart and, you know, mm, I was I was two seconds from just being like, well, how about no, I don't want to do it. But that wasn't it, you know, but it was such a great feeling for me to have the woman of God to call me and say, I apologize. So with that being said, because God showed me, he confirmed that my feeling was right. But he also allowed her to be convicted in her spirit for her to call me and say, I apologize.